Hello, this is Geeks Live Luxembourg. We are here at the uh, Game of Goat <laughs> Hackathon and we're standing here with Emil from Aldebaran Robotics. And we have here Pepper. Hello, Pepper. How can I help you? Say hello. Hello. Um, how long did it? Uh, uh, how long did you need it to uh, build Pepper, the concept, and all that? Um, a year or so. But Pepper is mostly an evolution of our previous robot, which is now, which you may have seen in several universities. Uh, which is a smaller human robot. It will also be showing up later on today. And uh, Pepper is the same model, but bigger with wheels for more stability and with an Android tablet here. For what purpose did you build Pepper? Uh, Pepper was originally mostly intended to be used in some stores to do like welcoming guests, though we always also had in mind um, to sell her to individual customers to, uh, to be at home. So the pepper is actually being used for both uh, things, mostly in Japan. And you can also see her in a few places in France, in Spain, etc. Since uh, when uh, does your company exist and build uh, and uh, working on building robots? Um, Aldebra has been building robots, I think, about in, since 2006. Uh, so mostly the now robot. And um, also Pepper and the big brother Romeo, which is a bigger humanoid robot. Um. How did it come about that you um, did help uh, organize and uh, sponsoring uh, the, the game of code? Um, oh, mostly uh, people from the game of code were interested in having Pepper here, and we were interested in, uh, in showing what we could do with her. If someone wants to buy Pepper, what are uh, the price of uh, an expensive robot like that? Well, currently Pepper isn't really for sale uh, outside of Japan, uh, so it's not really possible yet. Okay. <laughs> uh, what are the functions that Pepper can do? Uh, so Pepper can um, see people, can recognize people. Um, can move, of course, can talk, can hear what you're speaking. So it's mostly a conversational social robot. Um, she's also able to roll around, so she has this omnidirectional wheels and has quite a few sensors so she can see what's going on, like 3D sensors, cameras, uh, lasers, sonars, everything. So you can do dances, games, um, it can talk with people, like have conversation, explain products show videos on, its tab on her tablet, etc. Pretty much whatever you think on. Actually, we have this whole um, uh, SDK where you can program Pepper your own way. Uh, we have some applications that also allow you to easily create content. So it's also um, like a means of expression. The programming, uh, does she just doing stuff you do exactly program? Or is she possible to uh, learn from experience uh, and from settings? Well. You can, of course, program her to learn from experience and from settings. Um, currently, we have a few uh, systems built around that, built around either explicitly teaching things to Pepper or having Pepper adapt. So it's very tricky to adapt this right. Uh, but mostly Pepper um, follows the, what was programmed into her. So it's a quite a dynamic system in that she will take into account context, what people she sees, what, to, what you say to her. Like, she won't be following a, a pure script. But uh, by default, she doesn't do much autonomous um, learning and transformation. But this is the kind of things that we're working on. And it's also possible, of course, to program your own. Uh, we'll be showing some kind of machine learning around that later on on the stage with Joanne. OK, I'm really happy to see that. OK, uh, thanks for the interview. And have a nice day. Pepper was unfortunately turning the wrong direction. Yeah. Yeah.